Hello everyone, this is Mr. Alberona here again, and today I'm here for a breakdown on Keimi Utsushimi. Now Keimi, uh, a lot of people were playing her online, but I did not realize how broken and top tier she is until I started playing her. She is ridiculously strong, she's definitely an up close brawler, intense combo character, she is ridiculous and OP, can does do crazy amounts of damage with no dash cancels, and... Oh my goodness, let's get into it. So, starting off with her buttons. Her regular attack string is a three hitting attack string. You actually only press the button twice. So you do two attacks and then that's your whole attack string. You can dash cancel after either on any of the hits. Uh, if you want to extend combos that way. And her air combo works quite similarly. It's two hits, uh, it's two buttons and does three hits. And can be dash cancelled after either. A quick note on these buttons, is I think Kami might actually have the fastest attack in the game. It doesn't reach very far like some other characters, like she doesn't launch herself forward as much as others do, but it's so fast. A lot of people are quite slow if they're around this distance attacking, but Kami is like, it's like instant attack. It, it, people can't react to you coming in or doing anything. It's unreactable, so fast, easy punish for anything. So yeah, that's a good side note, is that she is like, probably the fastest attack in the game. Okay, um, for her tilt attack, on the ground, the yellow armor counter tilt, whatever you want to call it, attack, is, it's basically just a yellow attack, you don't use it for combos or extensions or anything. It does a lot of damage for a yellow attack, but you don't really get much off it, you can combo into it. Uh, but essentially you just use it if you want to armor through something that the opponent's doing. Uh, in the air, her yellow attack is actually a, a good uh, like extender, you use it after the first two hits of her attack string, and you can use it to extend into uh, her air combos to like, into other of her quirk buttons, which is really good, so that's what you'll be using in most of your air combos. Her red attack is really unusual. So, it doesn't show that it's a red attack until late on in the animation, so, but it's also quite slow in starting up, so it's very... it's hard to say whether it's good or bad, so it's quite slow, but it doesn't show that it's red until quite late and people don't realize what's happening, and it also reaches a really long distance, and it has really great tracking, so if I have Bakugo trying to run around... If he wasn't dashing and if he was just running, you can see it goes after the opponent really well. It like follows them instead of going in a straight uh, line. So if your opponent's just trying to like walk around or like they do a sidestep a bit too early because they see at the beginning, it'll track them down and hit them. Wait, can I get him to sidestep? There we go, see even though he sidestepped because he saw the beginning animations, like pretend if he was a real person, it tracked him down and still hit him. It's really amazing, this red move, even though you don't get combos off of it off of it usually, unless you use supports. But yeah, it's really good, really good uh, tool in her arsenal. Um, well, yeah, uh, yeah, so now that we've done all of her attack buttons, let's get into her quirk buttons. So her quirk one is this mist blow that does zero damage, <laughs> so it seems kind of bad, but you can press it again, and she does this flying drop kick move, which does a lot of damage and is one of your main combo enders, as you saw before. After you do the armor attack in the air, you go into this, and then to the drop kick, and then that's lots of damage. Uh, you can dash cancel before it ends to get um, some extended combos that way. Which is where you can extend, but it's not the way I usually do, but it's still very valid and does lots of damage. As you saw just there, that was a really simple combo, but it still did lots and lots of damage. But yeah, this is essentially just a good combo ender. Sometimes I like to throw it out in neutral if I need a way, because she doesn't really have many long-ranged attacks. Like, her strike is pretty short-ranged, she doesn't have anything like a projectile or a, like Tamaki's um, swordfish attack or anything that reaches long. So sometimes I just throw this out and then just try to dive kick at them from far away. And it catches people off guard quite a lot, because they don't expect you to just throw this out there. Um, yeah, as you see, it works basically the same in the air. 
And you can actually combo off of the the mist if you if they're on the ground and then you land and then attack. But yeah, basically that's just a combo ender. And it's a string that does a lot of damage. A tilt quirk one is I couldn't really see it there, but she summons a illusion of the supports. Of the opponent's supports. And it looks quite unusual, you can't really tell what's happening, but if I put Bakugo onto block, you can tell that this is actually an attack. It's a really uh, interesting looking attack, so it brings out the opponent, and so it counts as a hit when they get fooled by this, and then they do that animation, that's them getting hit, and you actually can combo out of it. So if I do that, and then into this, even though it says it was only three hits as I hit him, it doesn't count the first one, it does actually, um, is a combo. And I can show that by guard from second stage, so now Bakugo is going to block after I do anything. So if I go into this, and then I can combo. So that is a true combo, and yeah, it's a combo starter, a tilt quirk one. It's a combo starter and extender, and I'll show it as an extender in some later combos. Uh, I like to use this move, it works pretty similarly in the air, she drops them down and the opponent has to block it even though it doesn't look like it, it's an attack. But yeah, it's a very interesting move. I like using it a lot. This is what I use as her main projectile, because they can run into it and then they go into the animation. Uh, it's quite active, it's plus on block I believe, um, so if I put Bakugo onto block. Um, I'll be able to attack before he can, um, if he blocks it, so if I throw this out and then he goes to block it, I can attack before he can attack after blocking it, and that's essentially what plus on block means, so unlike some things like her um, attack string, that's minus on block, so see how I have a long time before I can attack again after it hits, so that means he could interrupt me if I attacked afterwards, but if... Um, Get your card into back. If, um, if he blocks this, I'm plus on block so I can attack before he does. So it's a really good uh, spacing thing that is not long range, it's not a projectile. See, she only summons it at this specific range. So if you're in this area, make sure you throw, uh, throw it out. Because it's plus on block and can start combos. So if you manage to get it on the opponent, it's a win win for you. You manage to throw it out. Which makes it quite overpowered, seeing as it can start combos as well. Okay, now for Quirk 2, I'm sure you've seen this a lot from Kami's. Is this, and it's her infamous combo starter, her meterless combo starter that you can connect off of her attack string. So it's a three hit string that leads into a floor splat that is the same as a wall splat, so she can connect moves off after it. So. If you combo into this, it's this three hit string, okay, I'll just show it on its own. She grabs him, slams him into the floor, and you can attack again. Which is pretty amazing, so it's a meterless combo extender. And as you can see, you can only do it twice, the second time you do it, they get like splatted flat onto the floor, so you can't actually uh, hit them afterwards, the second time. But nonetheless, it is an amazing move that really adds to her being... I'm tempted to say that KB is the combo queen thanks to it. Because it, it is just such an amazing... She can hit confirm into a meterless combo after like any touch. After her extremely fast strike. And yeah, she can extend into this. And it's great. You'll see in the combos you use it so many times. Uh, but we'll get to that in the combo section. Uh, in the uh, air, her quirk 2. It is almost like a nerfed version of this string. It just has the animation of the last one where she sits on your shoulders and then slams you onto the ground. Except it doesn't have the combo extending effect, it just slams them onto the ground for high damage. Which is good, because you can use that as a way oops, for ending combos for a lot of damage. And it has a long uh, splat animation, so Buff Go isn't able to get up for a long time, so I can start up my red attack or do something there even before he gets up. Or I could run away if I wanted to for some reason, but yeah, you have a lot of time. Uh, now for her Tilt Quirk 2, it is her parry. And if I put Bakugo onto target combo... It's this really flashy parry that 
it doesn't lead to too much. You can't you can't combo off of it, I don't believe, unless you use supports at the perfect time, but that's actually quite tricky. And I don't believe you can dash cancel after it either. Oh, you can, you don't get combos. But it seems to have a debuff on the opponent, but I haven't been able to work out what it actually does. As you can see, he has a pink mist on his head after I hit it. But I haven't been able to work out what it, how it actually affects them. Like, I, they can still do quirk buttons, they still run around the same speed, they have the same damage. I, yeah, I have no idea what it does. <laughs> Maybe it's just an effect. But it's a pretty good parry, it has a long active frames, and it's pretty fast to start up. It's faster than Night Eyes. So yeah, it's pretty good, and it can't be done in the air. You'll just get hurt. Part two. Okay, now that we've gone over her buttons, let's go over combos with Kami. Now, this is where I really don't ri know where to start with Kami. I guess I'll start if you have no meter and no sidekicks, so you just have to do a completely meterless combo. You can do something along the lines of this: so three attacks into her quirk two string, to the force bat, jump into the air. Armor attack into the assist. Into that. And it'll do 8,388 damage, completely meterless, which is pretty amazing on its own, and that is nothing compared to what she can do in the. Uh, to come. So, that is. I'll do it again. That's her completely meterless combo. No dash cancels and no supports. Oh uh, yeah, a different way you can extend it is by going into the air at the end. But yeah, you, you saw it before. It's pretty easy to do, I just like messing up when I'm under pressure in recording, because that makes my videos really great. Here we go. Yeah, so 8,300, 8,200, easy meterless damage, which is pretty ridiculous. So now let's go into if you want to spend a dash cancel. Uh, the way I like to extend combos if I'm using a dash cancel with Kami is I dash cancel after the second hit of this, because it leaves them in a long bounce animation, and you can actually go into the uh, hit into the support. Or to air hits into armor move into the fake support. And I'll show what that looks like now. Oh, sorry, I'll do that again, hopefully without lag. And then you go into her regular meterless combo all over again. And that, oh my god, it does 10,200 damage for one dash cancel, a single dash cancel. Oh, that's ridiculous. Okay, so I don't usually use supports in my breakdown videos, because usually combos with supports are pretty personalized, and you just bring out a support at the end of the combo, and it doesn't really matter as long as you have a good uh, support. But with Kami, I feel like it's really important to her combo and playstyle, because she really gels well and flows with her supports. It re they really add to her, mainly her combos. They just make her combos really amazing, and they work very well. So I've chosen Bakugo and Nejire, because they are supports that come back comparatively quickly to other combo ones like Jiro or Aizawa and that means by the time you've finished your combo with um, Kami, if you use Bakugo or Nejire, they're practically back by the time you finish your combo, so it's like you didn't even use them. So here's an example of what a combo looks like if you... Uh, it's meterless uh, by using a support to extend it. So. <laughs> There we go. 10,500 damage, completely free, Bakugo is back, and it's basically like I didn't spend anything. Bakugo was gone for like a split second after I finished the combo, but that's it. it it's practically a free combo that does 10,500 damage, which is ridiculous if you think about it. Like, no dash cancel, and technically, or sort of, no support, because he come back, comes back instantly. And she can do even more damage if you do decide to spend a dash cancel. So this is what a combo looks like if you use a dash cancel. You bring out the support as she lands on their shoulders. 
So I want Baku to go in the corner. Oh wait. I don't know what I was just doing. I didn't do the, the dash cancel that I wanted to, sorry. Here we go again. One, two, bring out Baku goes, she lands on the shoulders. Oh my goodness. Sorry. There we go. 12,200 damage for one support and one dash cancel. That is ridiculous. And as you see at the end, my meter actually... Wait, let me do this again. I think my plus ultra gauge... I have it on refill, but I would have used a dash cancel. I think I got back the whole gauge by doing the combo, so technically it costed me nothing. I'll do it again. Oh, oops, nope, that's the wrong one. Yeah, look, Baku goes back, and I'm back at full meter, so that combo, all on its own, essentially cost me nothing, because I gained everything back that I used in it. That is ridiculous, she's got 12,200, or did 111 there, I messed it up a little bit, but 12,200 damage combos, completely free basically. That's ridiculous. Now, I'll show you again what a combo looks like if I decide to use two supports. And this will be completely meterless. You essentially just do the same thing, but twice. That's 13,000 damage, no dash cancel, my supports are already back, so that was essentially almost basically free as well. Kami is ridiculous in this sense, it's it's crazy. Uh, yeah, um, if you're thinking whether I could do the um, add a dash cancel into the combo like I did in the other one, that actually leads to a meteor blow before I'm able to complete it normally. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. But essentially, it, it doesn't really work, at least to a meaty blow, and you don't get as much damage. So if you're gonna use two supports, just do it meterlessly, and you'll get 13,000 damage. If you're gonna use one support, I suggest using one dash cancel. And... Oh, if you do the other extender... Oh. You get 12,500. So yeah, one support, 12,500 and a dash cancel, but you get everything back, or two supports, and you get 13,000 and you get everything back. She's completely ridiculous in that sense, and your opponent is going to be using their sidekicks all day to try and stop you doing your combos, but when they're, all their sidekicks are gone, that is when you go in and do all of a sudden your 13,000 practically free combos. Um, another combo that I want to mention, uh, something that's really dirty is with her red attack. So it's quite slow and you don't usually get anything off of it, but you can go into really, really nasty, really dirty um, setup is if you start the animation and then press your support. Because then the, uh, the red attack and the support are hitting at practically the same time, so it's unavoidable, unblockable. Uh, sort of, if they're not running away or something. So if they stand there and block for like even a second when you start this up, the redness is starting at the same time as the support's hitting, so they can't dodge because they'll get hit by the support, and they can't just sit there and block because they'll get hit by the red. It's completely... it's so awful, and you also get a combo off of it. It does a lot of damage. And I guess I may as well show you that you can 
add plus ultra ones into her combos just to do even more damage. If you just feel like it, doing more damage and looking flashy, just do this. <laughs> 17,700 damage, and you bet the same thing can be done with her plus ultra two. So I'll do her double sidekick combo for that one. So there's a completely meterless combo into her plus ultra too. You know, just casual 18,500 damage. You know, that, that's fine, that's fine, you know. It, uh, my supports are back, I didn't spend any meter except for the plus ultra 2, but you know, that's fine. Just like all of her other combos, when you're all of a sudden doing... When you're doing like 12,000 damage, you know, casual... You know, I'm Kami, this is easy for me. I just get, you know, 12,200 damage combos. For free, you know, that's just, that's how, that's how it goes, if, you know, in Kami Town. I just get free 2,000 damage. It's ridiculous, guys. And her attacks are already so fast. Like, people get caught by this constantly. So, oh, oh, you got hit? Oh, that's cute. You, you, you just lost 12,000 damage if you don't have any supports. Oh, and I actually have two supports, so I can make my combo even longer and more ridiculous. <laughs> she, oh, she's just so ridiculous. It's horrifying, but it's so fun to use, cat I, I hadn't been playing Kami at all before today, and I just learned these combos, and learned this evil red stuff. Where she can go from her plus ultra. Well, she can go from um, her red attack. Into these, like, easy high damage combos. Completely unavoidable. Completely free 2000 damage. It's ridiculous, guys. Um, and a side note if you want to get even more damage, she actually has uh, recovery, non recovery mix ups. So if you let hit someone and end your combo with this. Press Quirk 2, and if they recover, there's no way that they can avoid getting hit by the Quirk 2. So if, say if I've done a long combo and I end with this, into this thing, and they recover, unless they're like really lucky like Bakugo was then, and they managed to recover the right way, there's practically no avoiding getting hit by the Quirk 2, which just adds an extra like 4,000 damage to the end of your combo. So you know that 12,000 damage combo we did before? Now it's actually doing, you know, like 16,000, you know, that's fine, that's fine. 12,000, 16,000. Easy damage for Kami. And if they don't recover, then you can do some extended meterless combos. So if you do three hits into two hits of this, then that all combos if they, oops, if they don't recover. So three hits into this, into only two hits of this, and then you go into her regular combo again, into the support thing. Oops, make sure it combos. Oops, oops, that usually works. There we go. Keep in mind, this has been meterless this whole time. Just because the enemy decided not to recover. Because, you know, it's probably a mix up because you've been doing like this the whole game. And hitting them with your extra quirk 2 because they've recovered. So for once they decide to not recover and then they get hit by 9,000 completely free combo. And it could be even more if you decide to put in. Oh my god, your supports and stuff. And just. She's just so dirty, guys. It's ridiculous. Okay, 
I'll leave you with her plus Ultra 2. I just, I can't talk about Kami anymore, guys. She's just ridiculous, and but she's so fun. I hope she, when the balance patch comes out, she doesn't get nerfed too hard. But she's just really fun to play, and I hope they don't ruin her combos. Maybe do less damage? I think she can have a, a bit of a damage nerf, but no combo nerf, please. I like doing her amazing... <laughs> like meterless and sidekick combos. It's just so fun. So please don't take this away from me, developers. You can nerf her damage, but no, don't nerf her combos. Anyways, guys, this has been a long video, but damn, Kami is OP, and I love it. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.